Fisher Camp. North Cascades National Park. Good morning guys. I am here to give you a quick review on the Fisher Camp in North Cascades National Park. Uh, we spent the night here last night and I'll give you a quick rundown so in case you're planning a trip and thinking about camping here you get an idea what to expect. So when you first come in off the trail you'll be coming in this direction if you come over Easy Pass, uh, you'll see the sign. There's an arrow that points off to the right. That is indeed the trail up to the campsites. To the left, this is a trail that leads you off to the water. Uh, it's maybe 100 yards in length, down through an old dried out uh, stream bed, and a beautiful spot to get some water. So I'll you'll sure. come down this uh, dried out stream bed here, or if there's water in it, I guess you make your way along the side. And it comes out right over here. Great little spot to get some water. Good flow, crystal clear. Uh, if you come on down here a little bit, get some pretty views. The mountains up that direction. Uh, the water, as you can see, nice and deep. I suppose if you were so inclined, you could probably even get in here and take a little bit of a bath. So, all right, let me go show you where the uh, the next stop on our tour of Fisher Camp is. Back here at our main trail intersection. Water's that way. I think I said 100 yards earlier. It's probably more like 50. It's not real far at all. So now we'll head up the trail and I'll show you the next stop. The next thing you'll come across will be the privy. Sounds a little hard to see as you make your way up the trail, but you'll definitely see the fork in the trail. And if you look down, a little privy sign. Uh, it's maybe 20 yards up the trail here. Make your way on around this trail about another 20, 25 yards. And there's the privy. And here is the view from the privy. Now I do got to give you a little warning here. Um, the trail to get into this place is about right over here and runs along through here. Uh, yeah. You can imagine my surprise as I was sitting here this morning and watched a uh, trail runner come up the trail. <laughs> and he saw me too. But hey, it's a natural human thing. Everybody has to do it. So, whatever. Back to the main trail. This way to the three campsites. Another 50 yards or so up the trail. You hit another intersection. And here you can see the signs. Campsite one. Campsite two. And campsite three. And there's a trail to each one. So I'll uh, bust out of here, we'll head to the left. And I'll show you campsite one first. Here we are walking into campsite one. It's about 20 yards off the trail that leads up here. Um, amazing views. Yeah, pretty stellar. <laughs> you have one pretty small tent pad here. You could fit a two person, maybe a small three person here sideways. And then you have a second pad right over here. This one, by the way, stays completely dry. It rained and rained last night and yesterday afternoon. And as you can see, this spot right here stayed really dry. Now it is really slanted in that direction. But again, the trade-off, check out those views. Campsite number one. Now we will head up to the middle campsite or campsite number two. This one, I will give you a little bit of warning. <clears throat> this is a pretty steep little uphill and it goes up. And from my recollection yesterday, uh, probably another 40 yards maybe Let's say uh, <laughs> It can be a little bit of a jaunt when you've already just climbed to easy pass So just be warned All right, here we are campsite number two <clears throat> A lot more open Still got nice nice views 
Uh -huh. Not much happening this way. And this is pretty much the entire thing from what we could find. Looks like one tent pad. Might be able to fit two tents in here side by side. <clears throat> but uh, you could probably hang a hammock. You could definitely hang a hammock here. This would be a, this would be a good hammock site. All right. The smaller, definitely much more remote campsite number two, Fisher Camp. Back to our junction, and now we'll go check out the third and final of the three campsites here at Fisher Camp. This is the one that we chose after checking all three of them out when we got in here yesterday. And our reasonings for, for choosing this one were twofold. Uh, this one is the one furthest to the east. And I was hoping to get some good sunrise views this morning. Between the smoke and the, the clouds, that didn't happen. But regardless. The other reason that we chose this one, as you can see, it's very well sheltered. It had the most amount of totally dry ground. And so we went ahead and it was pouring rain. So we picked this one and was able to get set up without getting completely soaked. So I'll give you a quick look around this one here. You got two tent pads, smaller, smaller one to the right, bigger one to the left. And pretty nice mountain views that way. And that way. Kind of hard to see them up through the trees, but they're up that way too. And back that way. So, there you have it. Fisher Camp, North Cascades National Park.